sometimes you want to bring back a legend. You want your Blackberry back, Beeper and SQ FMI made this happen in 2023. Here is a shield for the Raspberry Pi Zero. We are going to see in this video how the device looks like and the first hands-on, so stay tuned. To install the operating system on the micro SD card. So first of all, I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi Imager tool and the recommended Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32 bits. Let's get started. I'm going to use the tool suggested here, the Raspberry Pi Imager tool. So you could use it under Windows or here Ubuntu which I'm using for this video and I suggested to run it with sudo here so I'm going to have like the permission to write on my micro SD card so we need to select the operating system Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32 bits which is here then here I will choose my micro SD card and before hitting right I would strongly suggest you to use here the option to set your host name enable SSH and you could use whatever keys set up like the username and password and last but not the least configure your Wi-Fi SSIs SSID and password. Once you are OK with the settings you have made, hit save button. Now you have like the opportunity to start the flashing, so hit right. And then before clicking yes, be sure you are ready to install Raspberry Pi OS into this micro SD. We are OK. So here it is downloading or using the image if it's already present in your computer so if it's already available it's going to go much faster depending on your internet speed and here we are going to wait for a couple of seconds so i will spare you that i will fast forward to when i'm like taking the micro sd Everybody should be able to install it basically. We're going to first plug the micro SD card. Okay, that's it. 
and now we have to basically align all the pin here with the Raspberry Pi. Now maybe it's hard to show. That they should perfectly align in order to make contact. So now I could start and screw them all, all the fours. Now that the Raspberry Pi is installed, you could see evenly all the hole with the pin. And it's pretty aligned here as well. Now it is time to install the battery. So here, like you have a little um, line, you need to put it on top. And the battery will stay. And you see handy elastics will be used to hold the battery basically. So that's right now it because I don't have uh, printed any case. So I will plug the USB-C and do the first boot with you. So there is a switch here, which is off and I will turn on. And you see right now there is a LED light from the Raspberry Pi. So that means booting up. It's not hot yet. I will wait a couple of like seconds and check on my LAN if there is any device that show up. Once it's done, I will continue and install a script. So let's go back on a computer. Here I have find out my IP address which I'm using on the beeper. So you have basically a different way to do so. Either you could like use Nmap with the correct network you are using or NetDiscover, which is doing all the job for you basically. Or even you could connect the HDMI cable and a keyboard on the port from the Raspberry Pi, so it's really up to you. Here we go, I press enter. I'm going to accept because it's the first time logging on. Okay, I'm connected right now and I'm going to use the first command here to update and install everything. So it will take a couple of minutes and I'm going to spare you the details. I spare you the installation and the screen now is fully working as you can see and I have the keyboard with the backlight and I'm going to show you now how it looks like while it's working here. So be, be mind, there is no justice for the screen as there is like um, a film here. I keep it because I plan to install um, 3D printed uh, case. So in order to avoid any scratch and dents, uh, I keep it right, right now. So let's start a command. Here we go. So it's really interesting device. 
know what I need to look, it's how to use the GPIO and which one I could still use. All that, I still have like the USB ports available. That's really, really interesting for me. And yeah, it's uh, it's really nice and I'm excited to, to work on different uh, projects and have a Linux handle device in my pocket. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.